let's take a look at some of the new features in QuickTrain Modeler version 8.2.1. First is automatic backup. Go to the help menu, system resources, and automatically backup workspace. Set an interval, and Qt Modeler will backup every, in this case, five minutes. This does not replace normal workspace saving in the layer tree, but it does provide some insurance if you should have a crash. The next time you open Qt Modeler, you'll be prompted to restore the backup workspace. Just click yes, and your scene will be restored. The next upgrade is the ability to merge vertex color layers. Here in my vertex color layer, I see a basic LOS map and an HLZ map. I can now check two of those and Qt Modeler will blend the result together. This works much better if you choose contrasting colors like blue and green. Version 821 adds quite a few new features for vectors, stencils, and graphics. We have a new stencil button for those who use stencils. And here's a really useful new feature. If you have a custom vector like this multicolored range ring, you can now right click on it, copy to clipboard, put your cursor somewhere else in the scene, and just type control V. Vector properties have been completely revamped for version 8.2.1. Here I've got some extracted vectors. Let me turn off the point cloud. These are building roof vectors in version 8.2.1. I can fill these and extend them to the ground and adjust their transparency. To access the new settings for vectors, right click in the layer tree, go to edit and edit style. It's worth noting that there are new permissions as some vectors can now be resized. Things like graphics, hold down K, hold down both mouse buttons and push pull to resize. Whereas a stencil, is not allowed to be resized unless you set that permission. These are all the new capabilities for the vector settings. The new sensor cone tool will be very useful for communications analysis. It attaches a user settable and adjustable cone to a marker and lets the user swing this through the scene. Access it by right clicking on a marker, edit sensor cone. Then just set the settings that you need to simulate the situation that you have. Of course, there's a lot more than that in version 8.2.1. So contact us, we'll email you a PDF with all the release notes. Thanks for watching.